Am I on mute? No, no. <laughs> no more Zoom jokes, I promise, I promise. The class of 2020, we finally made it. Only two years too late, huh? We always did say running late was our cardio. I guess we just took it a tad too far. I see so many familiar faces back here tonight, or this morning, what's the difference? <laughs> and in this achievement, we do something historic. Bishops' first two-year reunion. Now, I know that this is amazing. The alumni house must be trying out something new. And if they, they're testing us. If we do it right, they'll do it again. So we must live this weekend up to its fullest. Because you saw what happened when you didn't live our final year to its fullest. They canceled the next two years of school. That's not fair. We're role models this weekend. The wisest class of the three, of course. Now, jokes aside, I know that there are a couple of the class of 2020 that are not here. They didn't make the trip, and that's okay. I want them to know at home, or wherever they are, that we're celebrating them here in Lenoxville, as I hope they're celebrating at home. I know that sometimes the trip can be a little long and they didn't want to take it, that's fine. It doesn't matter the reason. Perhaps they wanted to spend it at time, spend some time with their family at home. Or perhaps, I know there's a couple smarty pants that are actually getting convocated for advanced degrees. So congratulations to them. You guys are with us and we're celebrating you. So at the end of this speech, when we sing our school song together for the last time as a class, I want you to stand up regardless of where you are and sing it with us here. Now, for those who are here, let's make some noise. Welcome. Thank you so much for making the trip. Everyone making the trip out this weekend is making this ceremony as special as it would have been two years ago. And that's something that we really have to thank the BU community for. Because there are schools across the world that have classes of 2020 that will never have an in-person ceremony, and we're lucky enough to go to a school that cares and that won't forget us. And I find two years to be the perfect amount of time. Why? Because all those embarrassing university stories, they're just funny now. <laughs> In fact, I have one to share with you today. At the very beginning of the pandemic, instead of hanging out with my friends at home, we'd hang out on Zoom. And the cool thing to do was make these custom backgrounds. You can make it look like you're on the moon, or some people make it look like you're at the gate. And I made one that was just supposed to be obnoxious for my friends and I. Around my face, it said, follow me on Instagram, The Real Jepson, Road to 1,000 followers. We got a couple chuckles, and when it was over, I put my laptop away, called it good. Two weeks later, at the end of April 2020, I got an email from the Val Victorian Nomination Committee to do a dress rehearsal of my speech in front of Principal Goldblum, other administration, etc., and I was ecstatic at the opportunity to present in front of my role models. So you can imagine my embarrassment when I join the Zoom call, and it says in the most obnoxious neon letters, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> An embarrassing story that's just funny. We laughed it off, we were figuring out the whole pandemic together, and it highlights something special about this school. It highlights the fact that it probably wouldn't have flown under the radar at other schools. Because above everything, we're family here. You come your very first year and you pretend to be family. And then you realize that when it's all done and over, that perhaps we weren't pretending at all. Now to say that the class of 2020 has a lot of people to thank for the very fact that we're here today is a huge understatement. But first, I'd like to thank, especially if there's any here today, any medical workers that have been working on the front lines of the pandemic since day one. In fact, we have our own, our very own medical warriors here at Bishops at the University, University Health Clinic. And we love them so much because they keep us safe when we college students try to do the exact opposite. <laughs> to the professors, we thank you because on top of leaving with a diploma this, well, two years ago, we left with your combined wisdom. You're more than lecturers, your friends, your colleagues, your mentors, and we thank you for that. I 
I want to take a special moment, a moment to remember a professor, a professor that we've lost, a professor who has made an immeasurable impact on my undergraduate career, as well as so many others that will be sitting this weekend, a professor who shared her genius as lead of the Student Investment Fund Seed, was a pillar of the finance department at the Williams School of Business, and if you were ever lucky enough to take one of her classes, she was tough but she was fair, and you learned a whole lot. Professor Sylvie Biquet, thank you for everything that you've done for Bishop's University. And to the administration, to the staff, buildings and grounds, Res Life, the Sports Center, Chancellor Fournier, Principal Goldblum, it's the hard work and the care that you put into the campus and for those that live and breathe here that make bishops the magical place that we've enjoyed for so long. And on top of that, Principal Goldblum, I'll never forget singing the school song on your front lawn in a tradition unlike any other. And you've embraced and you've continued that tradition. And we thank you for your time as principal of this amazing school. And to the class of 2020, we're here for a good time, not a long time. We're pretending to be students for just one more weekend. And each and every one of you is each other's most important piece of your BU experience. If you look to your left and you look to your right, you'll most likely see a friend, perhaps an old bog mate that you've lost connection with, or maybe a friend group that just lives a little too far away. But at the end of the day, here at Bishop's, we're just a small, purple family. And as a role model of mine told me, in a family, you don't need to like each other, you sure freaking love them. And I love you all. <laughs>